Hi friends, today is Ash Wednesday and we are starting a journey of Lent. I'm sure you must have a lot of things to do, a lot of things uh, not to do, what to do. You must have made some decisions as I have made some. So with with whatever sacrifices, fasting, praying, almsgiving, you have decided, one more thing is very important and that is the basic thing. What is that? That is love. Do it because you love Jesus, not just an activity, not just, you know, because uh, it's it's the church is asking us to do. Do it with love for Jesus. Do it because you want to grow in love for Jesus. Do it because you are really repent. You are really sorry for the times you have hurt him, and you are showing your sorry by changing your ways. And that's what I'm going to do. One of the thing which I'm going to do is uh, basically there's one scripture. It's one Corinthians ten thirteen. Oh, sorry, one Corinthians thirteen. Six onwards, it's written, love is patient, love is kind. And there is one line which I particularly like. That is, love does not keep a record of wrongs. Yes. And uh, so God is asking us not to keep a record of wrongs. We usually try, try to, you know, keep a record of whatever the person has done. And when that person arrives, we actually see their mistakes first rather than the person because we know oh, A, B, C, D, E or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This person has done so many things against me. And that is why we need to forgive every day. We have to love that person and we have to ask the Holy Spirit to, you know, take out this grudge which is there in our heart. I remember one incident in my uh, with my friend. We were working together and we were working on the same project. And what he used to do, every day he used to come and, uh, you know, ask me questions regarding the project that when this will be done, when this will that will be done. He was really irritating me. I ignored him for a time, but later on, I thought I should, I should give him back something. And when he used to talk about this project, I used to... Uh, I used to give him some looks or I used to talk to him in such a way that uh, he he used to just, you know, keep quiet about that. He used to not talk anything and he used to leave the place. But later on, I, I started enjoying, you know, re- give, uh, giving him back. But when I was praying, the Lord really asked me that uh, whatever you're doing, is it right? The Lord asked me that uh, you're enjoying this, but... Uh, do I do the same thing with you when you commit mistake? No, I forgive you, right? And I do not delay the forgiveness. And I said, yes, Lord, that's not the right way. And I really felt bad. And uh, I did not keep a record of wrongs, whatever he had done. I prayed and of, of, obviously after the grace of God, his help, I was able to be kind to him and not give him uh, repay, you know, evil for evil. So I want to encourage you that this Lent, try to love God and love people. And whatever you do, let love be your motive. Whether you're working, whether you're doing anything, let love be the aim. Love for God and love for His people. That will change everything about this Lent. This Lent will be a blessing for each one of us. If we keep love as the center, that is loving God and loving neighbor. Thank you. Bye-bye.